Mo, so many elements of that performance must have impressed you. Break it down. What did you like most about the Breakers' performance tonight? The defensive effort, the heart on the defensive side. This for me is our foundation. This is where this team starts. I mean, we held OR to 60 points. It's a good place to be. You're keeping opposition teams at the lowest percentage in the league, 38%. The Hawks were even lower than that tonight. Where, where does that come from? Is that hard work pre-season? Have you made it a focus since day one? Yeah, 100%. Um, our guys have bought in to us being a defensive first team. We have a phenomenal group of players who really care about winning and are willing to put their hearts on the line and compete in every moment in the game. And this is the foundation for everything that we're doing. Like you said, the football player of the game had great numbers tonight, but you had six players in double-figure points and another with nine. So it was very much uh, a team performance. Is this a team without a star that able to really deliver because of the sharing uh, nature of the team? This is a team with many players who are stars in their roles. This dude next to me, been sick for a week, went into the locker room at halftime, ran to the bathroom, started throwing up again, came back out, looks at me and said, Will, you good to go? Yeah, I'm good, coach. So this is who he is, but it could have been anybody else. But this group is, is for real. Will, don't be modest. You've had double-double last season, triple-double, sorry. Last season you had a career-high scoring output. But where does that performance all round, given the sickness, rate in your NBL career? Flu game, huh? Yeah, yeah, but that's probably a good flu game. Um, no, you'd have to be right up there. Um, you know, we've been through, much, through so much the last two years. We had a heartbreaker here last year. Um, and the same thing again with down guys, a couple got sick. Um, so it wasn't just me, it was, it, was, uh, it was a group effort. What's it like to have run a couple back to front on the road? Have you got a bunch of people who have you split the tough road trips both of them to make them early on the road? Yeah, probably. Winning is good for everybody's confidence. Um, but we take it one game at a time. For me, it's not a road trip. There was one game, and then there was another game, and next week there'll be another one, and another one, and another one. You said that the guys have got their stars in their roles. They must be pleased with how quickly the new piece of numbers on the day. I was Cam, Tom, Davidge have come in and found their niche so quickly. You guys? I mean, I'm happy everybody feels comfortable within their roles. Um, I still think every one of our players, every one of them, has room to grow and be better. I truly believe this team hasn't even scratched the surface of what each and every player can contribute, and I think we're just going to keep getting better. They put that, you know, come back in that third quarter. So what were the words to the boys to, to stop them to come back and you put them away within that fourth quarter? Well, the comeback was based on them going to zone defense, caught us a little bit off guard. What zones does to you sometimes, they were very open, but you hesitate and things like this. So the first thing was settle it down. Um, for us, it always comes back to defense. If they get stops, but we get stops, we're up 20, we're fine. So it was really focusing on our identity and the things that we do and not letting what happens on offense affect what we do on defense. And I'm very proud of the guys in this regard. And it's still early days, so how are you going to take this for the next few games, which will be harder as they go? Yeah, I mean, you don't carry anything over from this game to the next one. The only thing you carry are the lessons. We will learn what we did well. We will look at the film and see what we can do better. We will keep improving as a group, and the next game starts 0-0. Back home on Thursday night, quick turnaround, then back to Cairns on Sunday, so plenty of trouble. Do you get um, Brown back in those games, mate? I don't know. Hamstrings are tricky. Um, yeah, our schedule is very challenging. And this group loves challenges, so that's a good thing. Uh, but specifically about Barry, hamstrings are, are tricky, and we need to do things the right way. Hopefully, it keeps responding well to treatment, and it'll be ready to go. But if not, we're fine. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Sorry, can I appreciate that in quickly? Yes. Uh, just for you, Will, can you talk a little bit about how sick you have been the last couple of days? How close did you <laughs> come to not, not playing either Saturday or tonight? And does it make it worthwhile to not only play well but to come away with these two wins? Uh, yeah, no, nah, it's been pretty bad this week. Uh, I knew Saturday I was most likely going to play. Today, woke up, I had no idea what I was going to do. Um, even took a nap in the afternoon, woke up. I was very close to texting our physio and saying, um, I'm out. 
I'm not going. Um, but uh, yeah, you just can't let this group of guys down. We've got some good people here and you just want to play hard for them. How much fun is it being part of this group where everybody's buying in defensively, everyone's crushing, crushing the glass and everyone's contributing in so many ways and playing as a team? How much fun is it to be part of it? Uh, it's a lot different than last year. Um, but you can just see we all, I mean, even Modi's been smiling this year, which is, um, I've rarely seen that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, we just, uh, just want to play for each other. And, um, yeah, as you can see, we're just, we're just having fun with it, and that's what it's all about. And Modi, Cam Glidden is another one who's been sick, and he's, he's shooting. He, he showed what he's been, been able to do his whole career. And you, re you can see how much it meant to him and for the whole group for him to to shoot like he gets another as well. Yeah, I love Cam. I think nine out of 10 players don't take this plane ride. Um, he jumped on the plane just to give himself any kind of chance to play in the first game. Couldn't muster it. It was really, really sick. Didn't look great this morning, but pushed through it. And I couldn't be more grateful. Uh, the best offense against zone is Cam Glidden. And I'm really happy I had him in my pocket today. What's up, Mark? Um, can you just talk about, I guess, the importance of those? Cam was one of them, and, and, and Rob and Tom, both of them, don't forget, uh, punch it off the bench. How important is, is that depth you've got in your group this year? Extremely. This is the NBA. All you need to do is look at the calendar that we have for the this month. You don't get through this with eight players. We have 15 great ones that any one of them can come and contribute on any given night. And yeah, I'm grateful for having these guys in my corner, man. And, and what's the challenge for you guys now with the short turnaround to come home for Thursday night against the Phoenix? You know, what's the bat for you guys now? You know, every time there's a quick turnaround, it comes with three components for me. One is the physical recovery. This is going to be tough because it's the third game with quick turnaround with travel in between. But we have a great, great, great medical and physical team that will put our guys in place to perform. The second part is the mental one. Same like it's hard to recover from a loss, it's hard to recover from a win. We're a young team. We need to learn how to play in these circumstances. So that's number two. And the third is the tactical part. We play Southeast Melbourne again, and they have six days in between to prepare for us. I mean, we played them, and they didn't have anything between us and this next game. Um, so it's about analyzing that game, seeing what adjustments they can make, and coming out and performing. Uh, I'm happy we have a baseline of an identity, so we kind of know who we are no matter who we play against, and that's what we'll ride. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Andrew, Modi, it's Andrew Canyon from NBA Pocket Podcast. I know hey. you want to get out of there, so I've just got one question for you. Feel free. 30, 30 minutes and 46 seconds. Um, on the box score, we see uh, Tyler Harvey and Izzy Liafa with exactly those minutes and seconds played. Is that <laughs> very specific coaching on your behalf, or is that a fluke? Nothing's a fluke, man. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. Thank you. Done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.